All right, guys. So for this one, we're doing uh, another um, uh, influencer edition, and we're gonna talk about uh, three influencers. Uh, well, maybe like one of them has competed before, but we're gonna try and uh, I guess evaluate whether these guys could um, compete on stage, and if they could, which division could they be? So we're starting with uh, Logan Paul, and I mean Logan Paul. I mean he's uh, he's been doing a little bit of everything. This guy's been boxing. And I mean, we've seen in the past this guy has uh, packed on some muscle, and this guy looks uh pretty uh pretty saucy. He's a pretty good physique. Looks pretty jacked. We were seeing the story of of him, right? A video, uh, yeah. A while back, and uh, we were seeing that he was doing wrestling when he was younger in high school. Yeah, he was. And he had a pretty amazing physique at such a young age. I mean. We're not going to go really in-depth. We're not going to go crazy in-depth. Uh, we're just going to probably talk uh, a bit of, I guess, some of the most recent pictures. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, this one was uh, 40 weeks ago. I mean, he's got a really decent back. I mean, he's, uh, I mean, for just boxing, I mean, I'm pretty sure he was, you know, lifting some weights, lifting some of that iron. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think um, I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, boxers and they have pretty amazing pretty detailed backs bro because all the punching they throw yeah they use a lot of their backs i mean look at this right here you know he's got some of that uh chest and bicep action going on here i mean he doesn't have any cap delts and i know that's a must now in you know on the circuit but i mean still man look he looks really good right here he's what six two one ninety uh, one ninety one eighty five yeah around there one like eighties Lean. That, 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 that physique looks pretty achievable. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, of course you need the genetics for those type of arms and everything, but that type of conditioning, I think, is really is, is someone naturally can achieve it. I believe. Now, did he have a pump right there? You know, I don't know. You know, maybe he just finished. Obviously, he did. You know, he's a little bit sweaty, so cardio, you know, he's a you know he has must have some type of pump right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not 100, well, not 100, but he's not, like, low-digit shredded, but, you know, he still has a really uh, good no physique legs, to him. No legs, yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, so, <laughs> so... Okay, so, where would you put him? Uh, computer? All right, we would... I would probably say this guy would do it on the uh, physique category, but on the 212, like, back in 2012 physique, mm -hmm. like, let's see here, right here, as you can see, well, you know, some of these guys, it's uh, on the 212 Pro competitions, and yeah, like you said, man, some of these guys look like uh, a situation say? from the <laughs> from Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, this is where the times where Jersey Shore was pretty it wasn't his hype. You know, they were, they were pretty uh, uh, famous. Yeah, well, what was it? I think 2010, 2011, 12, yeah. 12 around there. Jersey Shore was. Man, I was a fanboy of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a fanboy of Jersey Shore. These guys were a bunch of meatheads. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But they, they, this guy, this guy looks like those type of guys. You know what I mean? I think that in those times, the 210s, 212, men's physique was a pretty different division than yeah. what it is right now. Yeah. It was actually a little bit more ridiculed back in the day. Now it's been getting a lot of more respect from uh, some of these guys, uh, like from the some of these other bodybuilders. Now, um, uh, I am very aware that, uh, I mean, right here in some of these pictures that we've been seeing, he's not really training for, uh, you know, for competitions, but, uh, he does have some training. Um, all right, okay. hold on. Go ahead. You do have some training? What do you mean? Well, I mean, obviously I'm pretty sure that the diet, the training and, uh, whatever other supplements they're, they're taking, I'm pretty sure the training is a little bit more different when you're going to try and go up and wait. Or trying to, I guess not training for boxing, but training for on stage competitions. I'm pretty sure it must be a little bit different, okay. or even really big different. All right. So, okay, this is Logan Paul, right? So yeah. you would put him on a uh, men's physique, but on the early the 2010s. Right? Yeah. Early 2010s. Yes, sir. Okay. So, who is next on this uh, edition of influencers? All right, so now we have Athlean X. Uh, Athlean X. Who does yeah, not I, know Athlean X? Uh, Jeff Cavalier, man. Um, now, this guy has been on for a long time. Um, now, this guy is a guy who's shredded all year round. This guy's lean all year round. And that I know of, this guy has... Uh, um, he has no cheat meals. Apparently, you know, his words mm -hmm. saying that he has one cheat meal a year, and that's when he has uh, some um, some carrot cake. And for his birthday, like a slice, or I'm not sure exactly how much, but mm -hmm. just he just says that. 
And I mean, so I guess I would have to put this guy under the same category. And, you know, now this guy, I think he's on his uh, 40s, going on 50s, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen this channel very recently, to be honest. Um, I know it's very, very popular. Now, this guy goes really into depth with uh, with training, with injuries, how the body works, uh, the um the mobilities right? yeah yeah he has trained celebrities and he trains um i guess uh, people who want to be uh, th athletic for sports honestly he has not changed a lot at all since uh, uh we oh i started uh, watching him watching him what about 10 years ago yeah maybe more i, I think you you're the one that show it to me uh, show it to me and he looks exactly the same bro he has not changed at all yeah, I mean, now whether now this guy has come out, I believe in the past, and he's mentions that he's been on TRT. I'm not, I I believe he said that. Um, but apart from that, now in my opinion, I think this guy. Well, you've actually said it uh, earlier. Maybe this guy just hasn't put on some mass because this guy does not really uh, increase his calories. You know, he's always depleted. This guy looks like he's always depleted. Okay, yeah, he looks exactly the same all the time. And he must be suffering, bro. He must really like to stay like that or it's not really a problem for him. Yeah, yeah, based on what he has said, it's yeah, it's not a, it's not really hard for him. It's it's more like a lifestyle. I guess he's just so used to it. Okay, okay. I understand yeah. you're used to it, but man, suffer like that. And this guy's got some really big biceps. Oh yeah, the, those those peaks. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty amazing arms, bro. Now, this guy's really strong too uh, you know he's been uh i mean this guy has been accused uh of you know fake weights and mm -hmm. stuff like that but oh, come on bro this guy's been training over over 20 years i'm sure he's pretty strong yeah you yeah i think he's uh deadlifted what like four five plates yeah and we, and we can say or, uh, uh we can say that you don't have to be super muscular to be strong you know honestly i don't think you need to be a mass monster to be able to lift heavy now uh as for this guy um yeah i mean if i were to say it, i guess uh, physique as well Man, see. Okay. yeah from, from where 2010 <laughs> yeah around there too <laughs> it's pretty lean you know yes. he's pretty uh light on weight weight side by the way guys we're doing this video purely for fun i just just having fun here just giving a, our opinion mm -hmm. now for the last one we have uh bakar, bakar nabieva Yes. Now, this girl has competed, though. She did what? Bikini? Yeah, she did bikini. I'm not sure how long ago she did that, but um, now, look at this right here. But apparently, apparently, she did not like it. So, yeah. she just kept the lifestyle, but not no more competing. Yeah, now, this is a person that I think has admitted to having uh, mental health issues and a lot of problems, you know, in her personal life. But She's been bullied and all that. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason she, uh, she trains that. The heart. Also, she trains hard, but uh, we were watching an interview that she only trains for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Five times a week. Yeah, then. So, you, you can tell that you don't need to spend hours in, on, on the gym to have a great physique. You know? Now, she's been famous for posting a lot of these uh, booty pics, a lot of these uh, provocative pictures, very sexy pictures, very You know very what's, sexy what's funny about her, bro? It's something I noticed. Uh... She, she uploads a lot of videos like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Really provocative videos. But I've seen her doing some stuff for uh, Dragon Pharma. And she's really awkward in front of the camera. Like shy. Yeah, like shy. She's just really awkward. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's cool, right? But, like, you have this image that you don't care how you that people see you and all that. And you're shy in front of the camera. You know? I think yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's something funny. But it's cool. Maybe she'll get used to it. I'm sure she's going to get better. I'm pretty sure it. she does. But, well, it's just... Something crazy to think, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that. if she's uh, very nervous when she's uh, doing some of these videos. She looks nervous when she do, she's doing the videos. So, okay, so this is her. This is... Like the quads. Hard. She's really hard to mention her name, bro. But she's a pretty famous influencer. She has over 3 million followers on Instagram. And, uh, well, what's her uh, uh, nickname? AKA what? Uh, what does it say? Uh, Miss Iron Bum. Miss Iron Bum. All right. And uh, she's from, you say Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Ha, no, nationally answer by honey. Where's, where's that? Okay, like I think it's uh, over here. Oh, uh, Ukraine, yes. Yeah, it's Ukraine. Western Ukraine. Now, I believe there's a picture here. 
or uh, where, when she started. Look at this right here. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference, yes. But she said in the interview that we watched, she was, uh, she's uh, been doing um, enhancement for four years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the time of that video, you know, maybe not longer, but uh, she has not been, uh, she's been open about PEDs herself. So I think that's really cool. Uh, in a way, you know, she's honest and she says it how, how how it is, but she does not recommend it at all. Yeah, which is something really good. Yeah, it's true. She yeah, does she it because she wanted the, that physique, but she does not recommend it for health. Now, um, I know she's already competed in bikini. Now, it, this was some time ago. I'm pretty sure she's just only gotten better physique wise. Where would I put her? I, I'll probably stay still say physique. I mean, a uh, bikini. Bikini. Okay. Yeah, and. Um, Oh, uh, would she do good right now? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I know that I'm she has sure really she big will, legs. Man. She has pretty amazing legs. Yeah, and a lot of those uh, girls from bikini they have pretty amazing legs and pretty pretty good upper body too. Yeah. So I think we we all appreciate that. So, do you have any more thoughts on this no. video? No. No. By the way, guys, if you guys uh, like this, you know, just let us know. Um, this is maybe just. I guess we just like I said, we did this for fun. Uh, this is something uh, different uh, uh, way of making a video. So hopefully you guys like it. And uh, we just choose whatever uh, uh, topic just to make a, a new video, a new set of video. Ho hopefully you guys like it and we'll bring you more of this soon. All right? Yes, sir. All right, guys. So this is it for this video. And I guess we'll see you in the next one, which comes from the Bo Bo Boston, uh, Boston Pro. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that video is going to be coming next. So I guess we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.